So in this question, you just have to find out the net force on the trolley and the bag. Um, this is where you end up at the end. So I'm going to go back and just figure this out. But just to start off, the most important things to realize is that the diagonal force out here is 277. The weight pulling down is 115 and the friction pulling back is 252. They give you that in the question, but you might want to have a look um, just where you get those from. You can pause it. OK, let's start. Right, this question was really mean because that angle there, which they said, look at that, 24 degrees. Yeah, right. That's nothing like 24 degrees. That's that's like, I don't know, 70 degrees or 80. That's crazy. All right. They should have just gotten rid of um, that whole picture and just just said it, you know, or, or actually had a drawing or got a protractor. Anyway, so we'll do it anyway. What you have to do is work out some forces here, resolve a few forces and uh, see what you get left over. So we're going to draw a line, okay? Uh, we'll say, we'll go with their crazy angle, but we'll just say that it's 24 degrees. So that's the angle at which he pulls up on the golf cart and he applies a force here of 277 newtons at an angle of, what they said, 24.53 degrees. Now, we know a few things that we can fill in straight away. We know that he pulls, no, he doesn't pull it. We know that the, the earth pulls downwards uh, with 115 newtons, so that's the weight. So my downward component here is 115. Um, and then across here to the left, friction pulls back at 252 newtons for the friction going backwards. Okay, that's 252. Now I have to kind of like figure out what's battling against that 115 and what's battling against this 252. What's kind of trying to cancel them out or act the other way. So I'll just do the um, the blue one first, okay? It's 252 newtons to the left. To the right, it's this weird diagonal. So I can't really immediately figure out what this is. So I'm gonna figure out what part of this 277 is horizontal, is pulling across. So I'm gonna break this up into vertical and horizontal components. I'll start with the horizontal first. What I do is I take that 227, I multiply it by the cos of this angle for the horizontal component. So that's 277 multiplied by the cos of that angle. So the way I remember it is that C stands for car and uh, C for cos and cars go left and right along the road like that. Okay. Um, the other one, what's battling against this guy? Well, the vertical part here, the way I work out the vertical component is it's the same kind of deal. You multiply the two, two, 277 by the sine this time of that angle. Okay. You'll just have to remember that vertical is S for a sine. So I think skyscrapers is how I remember it. Cars and skyscrapers. Okay. Uh, great. Now, it's getting a bit messy, so I'm going to get rid of the things I no longer need, okay? The um, 277 has been broken up into vertical and horizontal components now, so I don't need it anymore, okay? I can just finish the question straight from here. That vertical component looks ugly. I need to make this into a nice happy days number. So what I do is I take that sine 24.53, uh, and I multiply by my 227. Just be careful when you do this because the most basic thing people can screw up in their calculator, you do it like this. Get your calculator out. Sine 24.53 equals, get your answer, then multiply that by 227 equals, and you'll get what a plot twist 115 will be your answer. Look at that, like the evil twin. And then you can guess when you multiply this out in the same way, you're going to find that that is cancelled out by your answer and your calculator will be 252. So look at that. Um, they chose these numbers for a reason. Clearly they were plotting all along. Okay. Um, so that's it. And the last little bit just asks, what does the net force tell you about the golfer's motion? And, you know, because we've worked it out that they all cancel out, there's um, no net force. So it's a constant velocity, okay? Anytime you see that zero newtons, 
Uh, that's a constant velocity, not O newtons, zero. Okay. Anyway, you get the marks for the uh, the two five two on the other side that you worked out. The one one five that you worked out. Um, your zero newtons, you get three marks as well. So that's nine so far. And the last bit, just saying constant velocity. That's your final three marks, and that's the question.